All right, so let's talk about how to get the brand new mythic items and weapon in season six. So if you haven't heard yet, there's a mythic shotgun and then a pair of mythic boots. So as you can see, the new areas are colored in that autumn or fall effect, that weird orange, yellow, and brown color. So at the top of these, look at this. You can see there's a purple area. These are what are called spires. There's one right there, one right there. There's six total. Again, you can see them at the very tips of the autumn fall like areas one down there so there's six total and then there's a main spire a huge one in the center okay so you gotta land at any one of those little spires first so there's one right next to me right here so that's where i'm gonna land but as i mentioned you can go to any of the six so at these mini spires you'll find an npc boss actually i see her right here so just like there's six of these spires there's six of these mini bosses as well and then there's a great big boss here at the big spire. So you can hear her traipsing around down here. So you have to eliminate the mini boss first. That's objective number one. And again, there's six of these on the map, so potentially six people can get this item. All right, so once you're ready to engage, I'm gonna to try to sneak up on her. She does have some kind of weird magic where she can teleport. Let's ambush her. You can see her, oh, there's the teleportation right there. You can see her health. This shotgun's insane, by the way. Watch this. Ooh, she instant transmissioned on me. So, as you saw, you could see her health and her shield. Not that difficult to take out. And she drops a purple primal rifle, which is a pretty sweet weapon in and of itself. But more importantly, she drops this right here. Let's see if it shows us what it is. It does not show us, but when you run with it, it has this wicked contrail. It turns you purple. And it gives you the hop rock effect, as you can see. So your objective is to take it to the greater spire, which is the one in the center of the map. Now you can see this contrail that I was talking about. It actually shows you where to go. So when you're facing the wrong way, it'll show you which way you're supposed to be going. So as you can see, it's directing me straight this way. Now if you climb to the top of one of these miniature spires, there's a little boost effect, which I'm gonna show you. So there's two chests up here, here's the boost right here. So we're gonna take this, and it'll give you a great head start. Now unfortunately, you can't deploy the glider as I just showed you there, it'll instantly drop. So the drawback to this is that you literally have to carry this, oh boy, now it won't stop. There we go. You have to carry this like a 1960s Batman character holding a bomb above his head. So this is very detrimental to you because obviously you're a sitting duck, you're a huge target, so anyone can shoot you, you're pretty much defenseless. If you swap weapons, you drop it. But if you do have to defend yourself, you could easily just chuck it or swap weapons and defend yourself and then pick it back up and continue on your way. But again, follow the contrail. Do you see how it's leading me towards the, well, it's the Southwest on the minimap. We're gonna follow this contrail and it takes us all the way to the spire. So in a solos match, I would say this is going to be incredibly difficult because everyone's just gunning for everyone. And if you see someone running like this, that's an easy target. Now in duos or squads, you're a little more separated, a little more spaced out. Plus you have someone defending you. So it would be a little more easy to do it there. So you can see the massive spire right there. That is the greater spire, not the miniature ones. And like I also mentioned, the greater boss is there too. She is tremendously fierce. She has a wickedly strong weapon, and we'll encounter her in a minute. So it's a long voyage, for sure. Is it worth your time doing this? Like I said, in solos, I don't know. The reward is pretty sweet, but it's not a weapon. It's more of an accessory item. Okay, so remember, we're following the contrail. Every orb is different and goes into a different spot, but you know exactly where to go because of that contrail. Remember to follow that contrail. It'll show you exactly where it's got to go. See? It lines up right here, and then we just place it in there. And then it takes a second, and out pop the Spire Jump Boots. How incredible is that? Let's just drop this right here. So with these, you can see they actually go on your feet. You can see them light up down there. And it says, chain three jumps to launch yourself in the air. So let's take a look at these. It says, a well-timed jump makes all the difference. Chain three jumps to launch yourself in the air. We just saw that. So just jumping normally does nothing. One jump, nothing. So these are actually kind of tricky to use. Like I said, 
the first jump does nothing. But if you time it so when you land, you jump again, you get the hop rock effect, which is pretty sweet. So basically, just jump and then jump. Now, if you do it a third time, there's one and there's two, then you'll redeploy yourself, which is cool as well. So jump, jump again, and then one more time to redeploy. You get some high ground doing that. All right, so now let me show you the second mythic weapon, and that's the mythic shotgun. And actually, one of the Battle Pass characters is the boss here. That is the Spire Assassin, and she is most formidable. She is a very fierce competitor. That Mythic Shotgun can annihilate you even at 200 health almost instantly. So you got to be very careful with her. Unfortunately, she can teleport just like the miniature bosses, but she has more health. So your main battle strategy is to keep your distance. But it's worth it. If you can take her out and get that shotgun, you'll be set for the rest of the game. So let's see if we can find her. She lurks around the spire, obviously. I hear her right now, but I don't see her footstep. There are her footsteps. Okay. okay I'm going to chuck some grenades right at her here. Teleport from this. Yes. Oh, wow. It's like I did nothing to her. Look, it took about 50 shield away. That was it. She's such a beefcake. So I would say she's more suited to be eliminated in team-based mode because she's just got a lot of HP. Oh, but there she goes. Splat. So look at what she drops. First of all, she drops 30 gold. And there it is, the Spire Assassin's Primal Shotgun. So I think the blue Primal Shotgun is incredible. But to get a mythic one, absolutely crazy. So the magazine size is large. I hate what they did to these stats, by the way. Look at this. You can't see any numbers anymore. It's just bars. That's the worst. You can see the magazine size is high. Fire rate is high. Damage is moderate. And reload time is fairly lengthy. So you can see it holds 12 shells. Let's compare it to the green one. The green one holds 12 as well. So there's no difference there, which is weird. However, when we cycle between the stats, yeah, you can see the fire rate is exactly the same. And the reload time is much quicker, but the damage is a lot better. Everything else is the same. So I'm telling you, if you haven't used the Primal Shotgun yet, use it. Go into somebody's box and just annihilate it. It shoots two shells at a time. As you can see, I'm holding the trigger two at a time. Even if you press it once, it shoots two. That was me pressing it once. Two shells, it's a two burst shotgun. Super powerful. Remember the drum shotgun from back in the day? It's like that, but way stronger. I love it. So there you go. Those are the two new mythic items in Season 6. One is super hard to get. Well, the other is super hard to get as well. But with a team or a squad, it should be much easier. However, that first one that I showed you where you have to bring the orb to the spire, it's a lengthy process. Is it worth it? Depends on what mode you're playing. In solos, I wouldn't say that. But if someone does manage to get those boots, you can easily spot them on the map and you can just eliminate them and then you get them for free and you didn't have to do all the hard work. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.